Hey everyone, I'm Jennifer Bell and I'm just so honored to be here. Thank you Jerry, Shannon and the students on the graduation committee for inviting me to speak to you all today. I just wanted to say congratulations. It's such a big deal. You've gone through so much in the past four years and uh, I know it's been a lot of hard work and I know it's going to pay off. Uh, you guys are moving on to the next part of your life, whether it be taking a break in the summer, uh, maybe going back to grad school, getting your PhD, your master's, or going into the workforce. I'm just so excited that all of you are going to have your own uh, journeys ahead of you. Uh, so a little bit of back about me and my background. Uh, I grew up in Saudi Arabia, uh, raised by a mother from Bangkok, Thailand, and father from Louisiana and lived there for my childhood. Um, I moved to Atlanta, Georgia, and because of the Hope Scholarship, uh, I knew I had to stay in Georgia, and I was researching schools, and I found the University of Georgia. And I was undecided, but I knew it was just an amazing school, beautiful, lots of great majors to choose from. And I took a human geography class with Dr. Ross, and I thought, this is amazing. You know, I want to learn more about geography. Mm -hmm. So I took another course, um, Aerial Imagery, with Dr. Madden, and that's when I became hooked. You know, there's the science side of things, there's the left brain, the right brain, the, you know, the Bachelors of Science and Bachelors of Arts, the human geography, the physical geography, and the techniques. So it's definitely a great major for someone who wants to do it all, who likes everything. Um, and that's kind of how it is at work now. Every single week or every two weeks, I'm learning something new and working on something totally different. Um, but ultimately, that, that common denominator is spatial thinking. Uh, working with maps, working with data, visualizing it, and then ultimately telling the story. Uh, it's, it was a long journey. I uh, was an undergrad for three and a half years, uh, went into the workforce immediately. At the time, I thought, I'd never want to go back to school again, and actually worked um, in Atlanta at a LiDAR company. Uh, it was called Photoscience, now Quantum Spatial. And it was fun, but I felt like, you know, I was always doing the same process but a different location and I wanted to a job that you know I wanted a job where it, I would change things up I would always be doing something different um, and so one advice I have is to just keep accepting internships and jobs and experience and talking to people in different industries to learn uh, more importantly what you don't want to do uh, I did some field work realized I love hiking I love camping but I don't want to continually uh, be out in the field for my job. That's just not for me. Uh, and I, I worked in government, local and federal, and realized you know the pace isn't in the jobs I had isn't what I was looking for uh, until I found ESRI, uh, it's the Environmental Systems Research Institute, ESRI, and we create software for people. And what I love about this is you get to be on the cutting edge of technology. Uh, you get to show examples of how to use the software, and then I get to work with so many cool foundations, whether it's the Dolores Huerta Foundation, which is a nonprofit up in Bakersfield, California. Dolores Huerta worked with Cesar Chavez and the Farm Workers uh, Rights Movement, or the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, mapping things like malaria, or um, working with the World Health Organization with COVID mapping. And so it's, it's amazing how GIS is, is related to every single field out there. And my advice for you is to find what you love, find what you love doing, uh, be able to answer the question, you know, what is your ideal day going to look like? What is your ideal job if you could have any job in the world? Being able to articulate that and know for yourself uh, what you want will help uh, you be more prepared when you speak with recruiters or during interviews. Um, so yeah, there's, there's a lot of advice I could have. I would say the biggest advice that comes to mind is don't ask, don't get. So know what you want and let people know that. Ask for it. Um, when I first started, I heard about this thing called the user conference. I knew there were you know, 20,000 people that would attend. And I said to my manager in one of our mid-year reviews, I said, one day I want to be on that stage, thinking, oh, this will be five years down the line, maybe 10 years down the line. And the next summer, I was on the stage. And so you don't know, uh, people don't know what you want until you tell them. So I have a good idea of that. 
Uh, but ultimately, right now, live in the moment. Be excited for graduating. Uh, there's just so much ahead of you. Um, there's so much ahead for all of us, actually. Uh, we're going to get through this together. And just want to say congratulations. I'm so happy for you. And I hope I get to uh, see you, meet you in person one day, and just see what you're up to in the future. So congratulations. Best of luck. Take care.